we're going to tie the non-slip loop knot. And this is a fantastic knot for fishing with lures, as it will leave a loop at the end of the line, which will give your lure much more free action whenever you're pulling it through the water. Okay, We want to start this knot off by actually making an overhand knot in the line first. You want to do that about six inches or so up the line, okay, such as this. Now, I'm of course using this thicker line just for demonstration purposes. You can tie this in either uh, monofilament or in braid. Only the difference will be the, the number of loops that we're going to make or number of turns we're going to make here in a, here in a bit. And so, something that's very important here, the, I'm going to make sure you can see this. This line, this here, is coming out of that knot on this side, okay? And that's going to be the side that we're going to go right back into that knot from, all right? And so, as we put this line through the eye of our, our lure, we're going to go right back through that overhand knot from the same side that it came out of, okay? right back through from the same sign it came out of. Pull it down, that'll be the size of our loop right there. And now we're going to wrap around the line. One, two, in thicker mono, monofilament you can wrap it four times. In thinner braid you want to wrap it six times. Okay. And then we're going to go back through this knot. And we want to go back through the same direction that it came out again. Okay, so these lines are coming out of the hole this way, and that's exactly the, the direction we're going to go back into that knot. And so every time we, we went through that knot, we went through in the same direction. All three of those lines are going in the same direction. And then we're going to pull that knot down. Now, on, uh, on your fishing line, you'll, you'll want to moisten the line at this point uh, because of the friction that it's going to undergo when you tighten it up. But we will tighten that line back on itself, back on the knot. And there you go. You've got a perfect non-slip loop knot. One of the great things about this tag is you'll notice the tag is pointing back toward the lure. So as you're pulling the lure through the water, this tag end isn't going to be catching. And of course, you want to you clip it off fairly close here to the knot, but that even the little tag that's going to be left is going to be pointing back toward the lure, which is a really nice feature of this non-slip loot knot.